A Sick Day for Amos McGee. Excellent. Read the words out loud or tell me about the pictures. When you were done, say, Moxie, the end. Amos McGee was an early riser. Every morning, when the alarm clock clanged, he swung his legs out of bed and swapped his pajamas for a fresh pressed uniform. He would wind his watch and set a pot of water to boil, saying to the sugar bowl, a spoonful for my oatmeal, please, and two for my tea cup. Belly full and ready for the work day. He'd oh, he'd amble out the door. Every day, Amos waited for the number five bus. Next stop, City Zoo. The bus driver would call. 6 p.m. Right on time, he replied. Amos had a lot to do at the zoo, but he always made time to visit his good friends. I'm excited to meet his friends too. <laughs> he played chess with the elephant who thought and thought before making a move. Hmm. Run races with the tortoise. It must be a very slow race. <laughs> who never ever lost. sit quietly with the penguin, who was very, very shy. Lend a handkerchief to the rhinoceros, who always had a runny nose. And at sunset, read stories to the owl. who was afraid of the dark. One day, Amos awoke with the sniffles and the sneezes and the chills. He swung his aching legs out of bed, then curled them back again and said, "Ugh, oh, I don't think I'm I don't think I'll be going to work today. Meanwhile, at the zoo, the animals waited for their friend. The elephant arranged his pawns and polished his castles. The tortoise stretched his legs and limbered up. The penguin sat quietly all by himself. The rhinoceros worried his allergies were worsening. The owl perched atop his tall stack of storybooks, scratched his, scratching his head with concern. Where is Amos? The animals wondered. later that day. <laughs> Hooray! My good friends are here! The elephant prepared a game of chess. Amos thought and thought before making a move. 
I'm too tired to run a race today, said Amos to the tortoise. Let's play hide and seek instead. The tortoise hid inside his shell. Amos hid beneath his covers. I like hide and seek too. Amos yawned. I could use a nap. The penguin sat quietly, keeping Amos's feet warm. They look so cozy. A chew! Amos awoke with a sneeze. <clears throat> the rhinoceros was ready with a handkerchief. I'm beginning to feel much better. Thank you, said Amos to his friends. He swung his legs out of bed. Perhaps we'll share a pot of tea. Amos wound his alarm clock. It's getting late, he said. After all, we have a morning bus to catch. So Amos said good night to the elephant and good night to the tortoise and good night to the penguin and good night to the rhinoceros and good night to the owl who knows that Amos was afraid of the dark read a story aloud before turning out the light. Great job, that was fun. Want to talk about the book we just read?